And we're back. Chapter 10 of Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Impudent apes! Steve Bloom no, no. there. Look at that I breath. <laughs> when High Infernal Priest Dagradai resurrects and restores the Archfiend to power, you will learn your true place on this earth. On behalf of his Lordship Dagradai, I deliver you an ultimatum. Submit or die. Ready to fire, sir! And that's Steve Bloom as well. <laughs> Badass, if he can take a hit from that. Oh, what the hell? Guess what it's time for. That's right! Level 3 Dual Swords! Oh, yes! Let the ownage begin! And we will stock up on those. Let's move out. Always take out that guy first. Ah. Ah. See? He can spin now when he's on the ground. Alright, we've already got that out. Oh, wasted! I hate that they stop when you start using it. Fucking rocket launcher guy. Nah, eat shit, robo bitch. Always best to keep doing that when you got a rocket guy firing rockets at you because it increases the amount of movement. You do not want to stay on the ground while he's firing those rockets. I apologize for the slight cuts. Looks like I'm having some slight uh, recording glitches. Now watch. Oh, you see? Because he has that spin on the ground, it's now really effective against the wolves, too. Alright, 
Alright, we'll go up here first. There's two guys on that bridge over there with rocket launchers. Ugh! Son of a bitch! Alright, time to go get that one. Ah, oh, crap. You take off one of his arms. Not enough to stop him from using the fucking rocket launcher, though. <clears throat> Lights out. I love the splash damage in this, you know? They've actually made it accurate that if another enemy is near you when you're doing that to another one, they'll still get hit because you did just swing your swords in their direction. Now, there is some stuff in the building to the left, you know, Muramasa's shop, but, uh, it's nothing important, so I'm not gonna bother with it. You gotta watch out for those mines. Follow the foot trail. Ah! Said follow the trail! Stupid rocket launcher, bitch. I uh, might as well use all three. There we go. Uh, switch back to that. Uh, makes things so much easier. Switch the Tonfa in anticipation for the guys that will drop down when I open this. Son of a bitch! Ugh. Ah, stupid gun! Oh, motherfucker. Come on! There you go, that wasn't so hard. Can never have too many of those. Sorry. Down we go. I'm gonna get the Vigorian flail out for this part because fish will come out of this.
Damn fish! Should be some more. Yeah. Switch back to the uh, Tonfa. Ah. No rockets for you. I can only imagine. Oh. Should be a treasure chest down here. Yeah, there it is. Now let's go take out the bastard with the rockets. They really don't have much a HP at all, those guys, do they? Oh, before we go up there, let's go back to the train. Should be, uh, maybe a treasure chest in there. I know that one of the guys has an item on them. In the 360 version, you would get a key card in here that would allow you to open the door at the end of this corridor, but like I said, they took out all keys from this version of the game. There it is. We can use that to upgrade the Art of the Inferno to level 3. We're getting ready to fight another one of those giant golem things. See, now this is a lot harder in the 360 version because... You know that enemy I told you is the most annoying in the game? Those jetpack giant things? You have to fight two of those while fighting this. Oh, that was close. And that's the end of him. Bitch! That's it for part one of chapter 10. Stay tuned for part two.